Oh, g'day. So, wait, stay here. There's a snake in the backyard somewhere. You have to stay near me. Wait. Stay there. Okie doke. Start training. It's a Kung Fu online uh, warming up video. So open the feet to shoulder width distance and roll the shoulders backwards ten times. Pat! Come here! You've got a snake in the backyard somewhere, so I have to keep an eye on the dog. Does that ten times? And forwards ten times. You go back as far as possible, up, forwards, down. So three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Another couple just in case. Patchy! Oi! Come here! Okie doke. So next we go to the waist. Try and just turn the waist. No shoulder at all. Let the arms just swing. Stop and look behind as far as your body will turn. And the other side, stay right in the middle. See how both legs start to feel. Patch, come here. And start turning the waist. Hands on the hips, turning the hips. This is the start of it. Um, just want to circle all the joints. Just get a little bit of energy going through the body to start with. Hachi, come here. When we're at the back, you change direction. Patch, come here. I'll put you inside. Wait. Come here. Stay there. Right, so we've done the hips both directions. Next one's feet together. Bend the knees. Little circles with the knees. Come here. Oi, touchy. Come here. Come here. Come here. You've got a snake. It's a brown snake. You've got to stay here. Stay there. When you're at the back, change direction. Oi. Come here. Ten rotations. And the ankle. Ten rotations and then back in the other direction. Like grinding up little stones on the ground. Then the other side. Patty. And back in the other direction. And shake out the feet. Okie doke. Um, next, wait, come here. Next we do some stretching. So hand up. Wait, come here. Keep your elbow down, shoulder relaxed. We're breathing from here, Dan Tien. Or just breathing deeply, filling up the lungs as much as you can. But it shouldn't be cutting off the breathing when you stretch and pushing and pulling and... Wait, come here. And, you know, just want to stay nice and up straight. This one always. Keep the tail tucked in just a little bit. Batty. Pulling back on the fingers, turn the hand upside down. Pulling back, relax the shoulders down. Don't let, <coughs> don't let your shoulder come up. And then back on the... Then hand around this way, pulling back on the wrist. So this is all live time. How long things should take. Other side. Pulling back on the fingers, shoulder down.
hand upside down, pulling back on the fingers. Breathing. When you do things, it shouldn't affect your breathing. In and out through the nose, the tongue's on the top palate of the mouth. And around this way, pulling back on the hand this way. Shaking the hands. And the next one's the lower back. We want to start stretching. So just for a couple of seconds, stretching back and then back up straight. And stretching forward. Come up, push back, bend the waist, relax the shoulders. Bend the waist, relax the shoulders. Pull the toe back with your mind. Forgot to say that one. Patch, where are you? Come here. Wait, I'm putting you inside. Come here, Patch. Come here. Come here. So I just have to put my dog inside. Three seconds. Okie dokie, so that was uh, stretching. <clears throat> um, also stretching the hamstrings, you do it this way, yeah? So you're just sitting down, pull your toes back, even get your heels up off the ground a little bit and trying to use the waist. You really want to start stretching the waist a lot. Make sure that area is open so you can use it. You don't want to be sitting sloppily on your waist or you're trying to just use your shoulders you're using the whole body to get the energy flowing through everywhere really well so we do that stretching a lot or we put our foot up on a level and again stretching yeah put your foot up on a level on a fence or something table and stretch that way okie doke so circled stretched um i want to start working on the legs you get a bit of you want to be thinking here down it's the horse stance using the waist punch make a fist stare at the target at the end of the punch Keep in the middle, right in the very middle. Don't just lean. You know, you want to learn how to balance. Turning the waist without a, making it go off balance. Both stands. Same thing, you use your waist. Learn to open up things. Practice on one leg. Knee in the centre. Over the other knee. Foot.
stretch that way. Know, test your balance out in different ways. Feel the adjustments inside the body has to stay stable. Okie doke, how do we walk like this? Slightly exaggerated, yeah? Well, this is like a soldier. This is where our stuff comes from, soldiers. So when we walk, it's not like some cool way. Yeah, nothing like that. A proud way, a strong way. Nothing forced. but just something like that, like a soldier. So we extend the movement a little bit and you end up, you'll see the soldiers walking around a certain way. They'll keep their hands fixed. Just holding a rifle and really getting independent movement, controlling all sorts of things. Right, so the first one we learn in Shaolin boxing is the heel kick and the punch. So it's just like walking, not swinging, directing with um, attack, punch and kick. You have to keep up, you have to... This going backwards is just as important as this one going forwards. So you have to get that... You know, you're staying up straight, making yourself narrow on the centre line. So that's the first drill. You start back about 30 metres. Make sure you're twisting the waist, pulling the hand back properly, punching and kicking. Yeah. And the next one will be the um, palm and toe kick. Put the toe down. Step. So twisting the body. Palm and toe kick. So you've got a, now not a heel kick, a toe kick. And then we rest like that. Step. So I'll give you another demonstration. Start like this. Step. So this just gets your basic coordination happening, left and right. Um, what next? Again, horse stance, bow stance, bow stance, crane, crane, empty stance, empty stance. Drop stance, drop stance. So practice these twice stances, develop up the leg muscles. Just think from here down in the beginning a lot. <coughs> Pardon me. But if it's working from the stance through the waist and out, that's um, what we're trying to get. Coordination of the body here. Eh? Or in a very open way, it's very good for you to develop up the joints.
and then when you put it all together in whichever way that you want all the joints are working for you um, really need to think how to get the whole body involved so a lot of the brain has to be down here can't always just be in here too much you need that skill here throughout the body um, Wing Chun people I see very very good chains here and a bit weaker a bit weaker nothing on the ground uh, Taekwondo people good chains here and up here it doesn't seem to sort of coordinate too well for them. Uh, tai Chi, the chains through here. No, not thinking too much on the strikes, it's more through that centre part. So they develop that chain. So try and develop the chains through the body. Good luck with your training, Wong Fu practitioners. Beautiful day.